Welcome back to Mash Tips. I got a Valentine's card on last month and they had something special on it. It's just one day in the year, but you should know that I love you every day and every moment. Happy Valentine's Day. So when I open it, you can see tiny special sticker that's called NFC tag. This is the NFC that we are talking about. NFC is a subset of RFID and RFID stands for radio frequency identification and NFC is for near field communication. Actually, this is, comes as a sticker. It's a kind of a paper sticker and it's almost flexible and it's the size of a quarter. So if you wonder what is inside this NFC tag, there is a antenna for communicating with the transmitting device and there is a tiny chip integrated here. The chip is a small system on chip or SOC. This is basically very cheap tag that you can use for a lot of automations set on your home. The standard NFC tags may not work properly on a metal surface, but still, you can buy special NFC tags that work with the metal surface. We will provide a couple of links where you can buy this NFC tag. It's pretty cheap. You have to pay only a couple of cents for each NFC tag. There is difference between the third party NFC apps and when you are using the automation app on your iPhone. So when you use an automation app, you are not writing anything on this NFC tag. You are simply using the NFC tag ID to automate things and to trigger that automation with your iPhone. But when you are using a NFC tool, then you are writing something into the NFC tag. So the benefit of this, you can use the same NFC tag to write something on it and to trigger an automation with automation task. I'm going to add an automation. Let me tap personal automation and scroll down NFC, then scan. Then I would say test, then next. Then I have to select an action that I want to run. Let me go to app. Probably I can record a voice memo. Next, ask before running. I want to disable it. Done. So let us see what's going to happen here. I scanned it and the start recording. Once you programmed a couple of NFC tags with automation app, you can see all those automation scripts on your shortcuts. Tap on shortcuts and tap on automation. Then if you scroll down and you see this NFC tag symbol, those are the automations that you already set with the NFC tags. So you can see all those and if you want to disable one of these automation or enable, you can do that. When you see these automations, you can tap on one of those automation and you can disable it for temporarily rather than deleting it. Let me try to get one more function with this NFC app. I just want to give you some idea. Uh, NFC tools and write and add a record. This is good option. Add a FaceTime call or FaceTime audio. Especially if you have grandmas or old people that they're not good for dealing with the iPhone or not good for making a FaceTime audio. You can make a shortcut on this NFC and program that NFC and give to them. So I'm gonna try a NFC FaceTime audio here. Let me try number one 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 just for the sake of testing so i have to add this into my nfc tag and i have to tap on right bring my nfc there then it's already written there so now let me bring back my nfc here now it's bring a pop-up for facetime and if you tap on it it's gonna make a facetime call don't forget to subscribe our channel and we are going to come back with more special automation ideas for your smart home.
there are a couple of other things you can do with this NFC tools app or any other NFC app. The thing is that use a password for your data so nobody else would be able to rewrite on this NFC tags without a password. So let me tap on other and set password. Let me set one, two, three password here. Then tap on the NFC. I already have a password set for this NFC tag. Then let us see to write something over there. Add a record, okay. Then and let me tap on write, then try this. Writer, because I already set a password there. Now I have to remove this password on this NFC to reuse it again. It's a nice feature if you don't wanna permanently lock this NFC, then you can set a temporary password. So let us see, go back, other, remove password and current password that we set one two three remove then tap on the nfc there that's it now the password is removed and you can program this nfc with more records before you do something like a lock tag that's going to be a permanent lock and you won't be able to uh, retrieve it so let me try for one NFC that I can lock here, lock tag, warning. This process cannot be reverted, lock, okay? I bring this one, then this NFC is permanently locked. I won't be able to do any additional record or erase tag. Let me try to erase tag now. And it's saying that the tag is ready, but it's locked. That's why it's not able to do any more writing. So once you lock it, that's going to be almost permanent and you won't be able to do any new records or alter the current records or whatever you return on this NFC tag, that's permanent. Just for your information, there are a couple of scenarios you won't be able to scan the NFC with your iPhone. For example, you never unlocked your phone probably after a restart or after a software update. If you haven't unlocked your phone with your number lock, then NFC will not work until you unlock the phone. And the second scenario is when the iPhone is already running a core NFC reader session, then it would not accept any other NFC tags. The third scenario is when your Apple Pay wallet is in use. When you try to open the NFC with, while running the Apple Pay, the iPhone will not respond with that. Another scenario when your camera is on, iPhone will not accept the NFC. And the last option when you enable your airplane mode, then the NFC will not respond. We have installed a couple of apps on our iPhone. All these apps are free and still you can do some basic functions for programming your NFC tags. So if you are interested and if you want to automate more functions at your home with the NFC tags, you can choose for the premium versions of these apps. But as of now, all these apps are free. So there is an another one NFC reader. And I believe it's providing a different tabs on the bottom for NFC reader, NFC writer, export settings, and all those features over there. You can get almost all the functions for free on this app. It's an ad supported. Mainly we use the app NFC tools that comes without any uh, pop-up ad or anything like that. And it's a pretty clean UI. And there is an another one we found that simple NFC. They have only two functions there, read and write. You can add a record over there uh, with this app on your NFC. And I see pretty interesting. Contact card, location record, Apple map, FaceTime record, all those details are over there. And Wi-Fi record too. So if you want to share a Wi-Fi network with your friend for a weekend party, you can do that. Most of these apps are offering almost the same functions but they are using a different ui and i see this is a pretty simple to use all those uh, buttons are right there so it's up to you all those are free anyway just want to give an idea about 
the NFC tags. The maximum read range is 10 centimeter. That means you have to literally touch on the NFC to read it. Data rate comes in 137 kilobytes per second. There is a constant frequency to operate for NFC specified as 13.56 megahertz. And NFC is kind of a passive device. So it taking the power from the phone or whatever the device is transmitting the signal is taking the power from there and it's taking only 15 milliamps and the memory that varies in bytes currently i'm using here 512 bytes capacity but it's varies depends on the application apple introduced nfc from iphone 6 models however the functionality was very limited for Apple Pay and other features. From iPhone 7 and above models, you will be able to use these NFC tags with full capacity for reading and writing purpose. Let us know your thoughts and questions if you are new to this NFC tag. And for those who are already using this NFC tag for their home or office, please share your automation ideas already implemented in home or work. We already published a couple of automation videos that you can use with NFC tags. If you are looking for some automation tricks that you can use with this NFC at your home, check this video. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Click on the subscribe button here. We are gonna come back with more special automation ideas for your smart home. Stay tuned.